DJ Provo is one of the first DJ softwares to integrate with streaming services. And although a lot has changed since then, now in 2024, by the end of this video, you'll know everything you need to know about streaming services with DJ Pro. To get to our music sources, we are going to press this button up here either on the top right or top left, blinking musical button if you don't have anything loaded up, really easy to find. We're gonna press that and then over here, to our left, we have our music sources. So we press this down. The first one is my collections. That is what they call a playlist. You could add songs from your streaming services into your collections, which I'm gonna show you, which is really important to do. DJ music, they give you some music to start DJing with. Music, this is not your Apple Music streaming service. You cannot use Apple Music streaming service. You cannot use Spotify. This is the music that is on your device. So whatever music is physically on this iPad is what that will be. Next, we get to the fun stuff, which is our streaming services. We have Tidal, SoundCloud, Beatport, Beat Source. When you are deciding which one to use, you're probably only going to want to use one of them because you don't want to be paying the $10.99 or whatever it is to be using all of these streaming services at once. So there are a couple of things that I would recommend. So I used to be all Tidal. I would tell everyone that Tidal is the best streaming service to DJ with. Now, the reason is because the DJ Pro app allows you to DJ with a visualizer and music videos. So if we press Tidal, Go over here to video, load it up, video track, and now we can DJ with music videos. Pretty much any popular song you can think of, you could load up the music video, start DJing, and I made a lot of videos on how to connect your iPad to a TV and a projector, so you guys could check those out. But basically, you could be DJing with music videos right from Tidal. So if you plan on doing that, if you want to take your DJing to the next level and have really exciting DJ performances with a projector or with a TV and add music videos to your sets, which I would highly recommend, then I would go with the Tidal streaming service. But recently with the new update or right before the new update, you cannot use Neuromix, which is one of DJ Pro's best features. You cannot use Neuromix while using Tidal streaming service. And it's not the app's fault. It is um, it has to do with Tidal and their licensing agreement. So keep that in mind if Neuromix is something that you plan on doing, you like making mashups, you like using the stems to scratch, then, then I would avoid Tidal because with the other streaming services, right now you can use Neuromix. Well, I only tried Beatport, but on Beatport you can, and I haven't heard anything about the other streaming services. So if you plan on using Neuromix with your streaming service, then I would go with 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 either Beatport, BeatSource, or SoundCloud. But now I wouldn't rely on that because a few months ago we were allowed to use Tidal with Neuromix. So there's something, I have a feeling that this might be a trend and you're not going to be able to use any streaming service with Neuromix. So just keep that in mind. And in that case, I would stick with Tidal streaming services. That's why I'm staying with Tidal because I don't use the Nero mix that much, but I do use video mixing in all of my sets. And I have heard and I have seen the notification that you cannot use Tidal streaming with other streaming services. So if you plan on using two streaming services, you might not be able to do that with Tidal. So now if we're in Tidal, so to get to Tidal, we're gonna press the music select button. We have Tidal selected. So now if you wanna search, you can search any song pretty much on the internet. So if title is selected up here and you go to the search bar, type in 50 cent. And then you'll get all the songs. You have songs here, you have videos here, and then artists, albums, everything. So you could just search what song you want and either load it onto a deck or you press these three dots here and we could add them to a playlist. So you could add songs from your streaming service into your playlist. So add the playlist, choose which playlist you wanna add it to. And now when we go to my collections and go to our playlist, you'll see the title symbol here. This means that this song is from title streaming service. 
so you'll see all of your all of your songs and what streaming service you got them from and then also when you're using the streaming service down here to the bottom right you have a feature called match so it's going to use the artificial intelligence to find songs that are similar to the one that you selected so it's good to make your playlist and it's also good to discover new songs or you could even have it set for auto mix so if you guys want to learn more about auto mix check out this video over here thank you